We're back on the Chef You and I, and we have our third recipe, which is uh, shrimp satiki, and that is from our wonderful chef, Alon Shia, of the Shia Restaurant in New Orleans. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add all of the different ingredients. And first of all, I actually pre-boiled these shrimp, and I'm going to break them up into threes. And then I'm going to put them in, um, and I'm going to saute them with a little bit of olive oil and also a little bit of olive oil and kosher salt, which I've already pre-measured. This is really simple to do. And, you know, you can always buy the frozen shrimp that are already pre-cooked, which makes it even nice because you're just going to actually saute this for a few seconds, and then you're going to wait until your shrimp actually... Um, cool off a little bit before you add all of your other ingredients. And then you're going to serve it on rye bread or bread of your choice. And you're going to actually put the bread in the oven for a few seconds to just get them a little bit hard, right? And, and then serve this wonderful uh, shrimp dish on top of the bread. So, and you'll find all of our recipes, you know, on our Chef You and I uh, website, and you can print them out now, which makes it easy for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the shrimp and we're going to actually put them into a hot, into a hot uh, skillet. We're going to saute them with a little bit of olive oil and our kosher salt. Okay, so just a second and we'll be right back. Now we're back on the Chef You and I and we're adding our shrimp, right? And we're just going to saute them just for a few seconds. And we're going to add our kosher salt to that. Just a second. Add a little bit of kosher salt to that. And just get them sauteed for a minute or two. This is going to be beautiful. Just get them a little warm. Okay. That looks good. Just really fast and easy because actually um, these were originally pre-cooked and frozen. And then you take, there's about 20 shrimp in here and I cut them up in threes. So let's just turn that off and just let it sit there for a second. Okay, and now we're going to add all of our Oh, I've got it on low. That's fine. Let's just saute those just for a second or two. I turned the heat down on that. Mm, they smell delicious, actually. Okay, let's turn that off now, totally. And we're going to set that aside and let it cool off for a minute. Now that the shrimp is cooled and our bread is done and ready for our mixture, our shrimp mixture, we're going to add all the ingredients plus the shrimp. So we're going to add the shrimp to the bowl, our bowl. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add all of our other ingredients to it and our mayonnaise. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our cucumbers that we've seeded. And that's one cucumber that you completely seed and chop up. That's one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add also chopped dill, which is fresh chopped dill. And that is one tablespoon of chopped dill. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of, of actually lemon juice that I've squeezed right there. Okay. And then we're going to add to that... Uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of lemon zest, and I'm actually going to do this lemon zest right here. And this is just about a fourth of a teaspoon. You don't want to have a lot of it, but it's really good, especially if the lemons are really fresh like they are right now, okay? Okay. So that's about a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, don't do what I did. Okay, so we're done with that. And then what we want to do is we also want to add the rest of our ingredients, which are we have cor uh, ground, a fourth of a teaspoon of ground um, caraway seed, or it can be celery seed. 
Okay. And then our last ingredient actually is the wonderful uh, mayonnaise with yogurt. We want to add that. And that's two tablespoons. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just mix it all up together. Oh, it looks beautiful. Really beautiful. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually put it on our toast. All right. So I want to use a slotted spoon with this because there's a little bit of extra juice in there. And here we have a slotted spoon. And so what we're going to do is we're going to trade this over here. We're actually going to put our, our plate right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to give each one a little generous... So, really beautiful. Now, some people, and he suggests, and I don't like garlic. I can't eat garlic. Um, actually, what he suggests is to take your bread, to take a half a clove of garlic, and you want to put it under the broiler, and then you want to take the garlic clove, and you want to put it, you want to rub it on the bread. And he actually puts some olive oil on each of the breads, and he puts it in the, bay, in the uh, oven, actually, until it's a little browned under the broiler, and serves it that way, almost like uh, bruschetta, almost. So fast and easy recipe, really nice. This could be your appetizer, and you're done. And so we'll be right back in just a second. We're back on The Chef, you and I. And recently, while I was in New York, I actually went to Tommy Bahamas. And I also had them on my radio show. And one of the drinks that they had was the Blueberry Thyme Smash. And I'm going to make it for you right now. It's really, really simple. Um, you actually want to take, well, I'm using some small blueberries, and I'm kind of smashing them, right? And so we're going to do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually, we have uh, a cup of water and a cup of sugar. That's simple syrup, actually. And we're going to add it. We've put in two parts of gin. And we also are putting in a three parts of a lime. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add our blueberries, right? and our simple sugar, and we're gonna shake it, right? And we're gonna actually make two drinks, and then we're gonna add this, and we're gonna shake it. We're back on the Chef You and I, and we already shook it up. It looks beautiful, it's right like that. We're gonna pour it into our glasses, which are right here. Right here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a sprig of thyme to each glass, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually take three blueberries and we're going to put them on here. And if you have some fancy, beautiful toothpicks that you can put it on, you can do that. But we didn't have any tonight, so we're going to do that. And then just do that. Is that cute or what? That's really beautiful. Wait a minute. Like that. Right. So there's one. Now here's two. Just thread them on. Simple, simple, simple. Now we'll have this recipe as well up on our website. And we're now going to enjoy this wonderful repas tonight and actually there we go oh well there we go 
a beautiful, beautiful drink from Tommy Bahama. We've run out of time on The Chef You and I, and we'll see you next time on The Chef You and I. Remember, you can get all of your recipes at thechefyouandi.com. See you next time. Bon appetit. Thanks for joining us on The Chef You and I Show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show.